I haven't slept for a very long time because my body doesn't know how to do sleep anymore. So, why not make a video about all the shit games that I have? Now, these are, there's, there's games up on top of there, but it has pictures of my family. So, I'm not going to show that. I do have some paper and shit that's in here because storage space in this house is actually very limited. That's my uh, flashlight there. <laughs> That's for my camping thing. It's actually uh, solar powered. And that's all my crafting shit. Not that you guys want to see that. But I'll show you all the other shit that I have. Hold on a second. So I have a PlayStation 5. And I actually have a couple uh, PlayStation 4s. And I'm not really sure how that happened. But yeah. I think I have maybe... Well, I know for sure I have two. But... I'm thinking I might have three, but my friend had one too. So yeah, I have an, uh, that's not a Nintendo. That's <laughs> a PlayStation 4. My brain's not fucking working. All right, next one I have. I have an Xbox Series X. So I have another one of these. It's the bigger version, but that's the, uh, what is the DS, the Nintendo DS. And I have this old nice color Game Boy. And it's got Tetris in it. And then I have, hold on a second, I have this Game Boy uh, SP. And thinking about it now, I think I actually have uh, the original Game Boy in my storage as well. And I can't find a couple of gaming devices um, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Oh, I also have a VR. That's for the PlayStation 4. My friend has one that's for the PlayStation 5. I'm still looking for some stuff. Apparently, you have two of these. <laughs> this was one I was looking for. This is a PlayStation Vita. I remember I had those tiny-ass little discs in there and shit. Um, I'm not sure if this charges anymore, but... Uh, there were some mods that I wanted to try out on this thing, and I haven't gotten uh, that far yet. And also, um, my DS, my DS and my son's DS, Nintendo, this, this is fully um, modded. So, let me see if I can turn it on. I'll show you. I put on a homebrew. They're, they're very much out of date at this point. It still works fine. Um, but yeah, I can basically play any game I want with this one for this particular system. See, so it's running on that. I have that all hooked up. And on mine, too, I think this, this one I gave to my son. And it, um, and I made this whole fucking, uh, screen. And it actually has, like, music that goes with it from the game, wherever the fucking volume button is. Uh, that's the 3D button. Yeah. So it's all from Sword Art, Sword Art Online. Ours are hard. Um, so yeah, I need to update that. But this one, I want to mod. Um, because I saw some cool things that you could still possibly do with this. And um, we used to have a... wasn't a Switch... I kept trying to call it that, but the one before the Switch, uh, we had that Nintendo, but we actually gave it away when we moved, and actually, I still have one, another one to show you, which is the Nintendo Switch, and I forgot I put it in here because I was thinking about using it to stream. This has the, um, I don't know, it starts with an H <laughs> button, uh, the buttons, so you can, you have a turbo function and shit on there. So that's pretty cool. This is the OLED. I always call it an OLED, but apparently everybody else pronounces it as old o OLED. Um, but yeah, those are my systems. I am missing a couple, and like I said, I have a couple in my storage. So I got a lot of devices, and they're pretty cool. Yeah, and the and the the. Just a side note, too, about the Nintendo. The one before the Switch that I can't think of because my brain is no longer functioning. Uh, that one was modded, too, so that you could play it. 
Actually, I think that purple one that I picked up had... No, that one used the R4 cartridge. So, and then I gave it away to a little girl that used to live down the street because, like, she didn't have any games and shit. So, and that was a while back. But I'm sure it could still be modded. Everything could be modded. It's, it's a, you, you gotta be really careful about modding this new shit because you'll break your stuff pretty easily if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. As long, but if you keep things offline and stuff. But I think this this has a lot more security on it than uh, any of the previous ones, including all the DS and shit. So, and as, as well as like for the PlayStation, like the that kind of shit, I think is going to be a lot more difficult to mod. I don't think it's beyond the the realm of possibilities for sure. And when you guys see me streaming, this is <laughs> this is my setup. It's very cheap. I have very cheap camera. I have uh, this is a TV that was in my mom's room, and she didn't want to use it anymore, so I put it on my desk, and which is great because I'm very close and I'm very blind also. And then I've got my computer running. It's a real shit computer, but um, it's uh, yeah. That's my that's my shit. That's my setup. And I just figured I'd share it because it's getting me to walk around and shit. Because I'm fucking tired. I've had insomnia real bad. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show all the fucking games that I have because I think it's cool. I mean, some people might think it's cool. Definitely need to get those ones out of storage though, especially the Atari because I think that one is definitely more fragile. It'd be interesting to try to stream. From those devices. Especially the Atari. I think that would be a challenge. Anyways. There's all my devices.